Hey everybody, Pumpkin here. Today I wanted to bring you a deck that I've been having some success with on ladder. It's Shoop Nilfgaard. Uh, it utilizes M here to replay Shoop twice. Uh, this is by no means a new deck. This deck has been around since Homecoming, but because the average power level of some of the decks have been brought down with uh, cards getting nerfed, uh, this, this deck's actually pretty decent now. Um, uh, the normal shoot target you're looking for is ping for 9 damage on shoot uh, hunter. Uh, this allows you to wipe a board, usually like an engine and like another card. Uh, and you can replay it again later on. Sometimes you just blow out 18 points on the board. Uh, it's, it's a very strong play in round 3. 9 points with leader is similar to Woodlands and similar to Herald. Um... The other finishers in this deck aren't great. I mean, you have Uni Cairo and you have uh, Asaya, which is eh, it's nine. It's not amazing, but it's not bad. Uh, the deck does thin pretty well, so you almost always find Shoop. I, I would probably say five out of every six games I draw Shoop. So yeah, it, it's a solid Shoop deck. I wouldn't say Shoop is as strong as he used to be by any means, but he's still pretty good. Um, every now and then... You play Shoop for Knight, which is the 8 strength one, because you want to be a little safer. You want to either ping for 4 or like uh, boost one of your cards, or maybe you want to destroy an artifact uh, on your opponent's side of the board. Sometimes you go for Knight, uh, and every now and then you go for Mage. Uh, the cases in which you go for Mage um, are almost never. One of the Mage options is ping 13 random. Uh, that does include your side of the board. So in the scenario that they've developed like 13 points, or I mean, the worst case scenario, they have like 26 points on you, you could go for a mage 13 ping and you could play that twice. Uh, it will not ping itself, so you don't have to worry about that. So you could do 26 points with shoot uh, uh, plus the two point body. Uh, that is of course, if you have no board. So the chances of that happening are pretty slim, but eh, keep that in mind. Um, and Shoop Charm is always there if your opponent plays a, like, 14-point goal. You just slap Shoop Charm for a 30-point swing. It's pretty good. Uh, do note that Shoop Charm works both ways. So you can charm your cards over to the enemy side of the board. So if you have two cards on your side of the board and your opponent has one card on their side of the board, uh, you're looking at a 33% chance to ch uh, charm their cards. So keep that in mind. It's not like old Shoop Charm. Anyways, uh, let's get into the deck. Uh, M here is used so that you can play Shoop twice. Um, if you don't draw Shoop, or let's say you play Shoop in a different round than round three, uh, and you still have M here, you can use it to replay Uni or Cairo. Uh, you do get that additional effect if you have both in your hand. So you can play Unicorn for plus eight, pick it up, play it again for plus eight, which is really strong. It's almost as good as playing Shoop for nine ping. Um, one other thing to note, I don't always do this myself, but I need to start doing it more often with Shoop. In round three, assuming you're not against an engine deck and you're playing Shoop for for Hunter, right? So you're looking for the nine ping. Uh, do play it early on because to hit the nine point ping is a is a 60% chance that it'll be one in the three options. Um, the next best option is usually boost everything in your hand by plus one or plus two. Uh, that's not very good if you're playing it as your final card in round three because you're not gonna have a hand. So you wanna play him early on just in case you don't get that nine ping, you can opt for the hand buff because it's still really good if you get that hand bop, uh, assuming you do it early on. So do keep that in mind. Yeah. Uh, Roach. Roach is there for thinning. Uh, very strong. You, you want to thin your deck as much as possible to find your Shoop Cleaver. Um, I've been running this. It's pretty good. Uh, this deck doesn't have a ton of removal, and Peter definitely helps with... Or, sorry, Cleaver definitely helps with that. Uh, it's very strong if your opponent plays an engine and then plays Tactical Advantage on it. You can use Cleaver to one-shot it. Asaya Asaya is a strong card. Works very well with Roach. Nine point play in round two or three. Very strong card. Dorigary. It's a lock. Locks are good. Play Dorigary. Gimpy. Uh, I've been playing this card a lot. I really like this card. Um, you see it in most of my Nilfgaard lists. It's very strong against NR. It's good against Scoia'tael. Uh The deck where I doesn't see a lot of uh, value against is probably SK. And even SK is not the worst. Uh, against Nilfgaard, you can hit Slave Infantries for a lot of value. Uh, NR, you can either hit the, what's it called? The Spectres from Drog or the, I can't remember the name, Blue Stripe Scouts, uh, if they spawn them on the other Scouts in round one or round two or round three. It doesn't really matter. It's usually good enough against NR. Worst case scenario, you kill a three-point engine and that's just good enough. 
Uh, I like this card. The only time it's not getting value is if you play against SK a lot. Uh, Witchers, Witchers are there to thin. Um, we've kind of rotated out of the Witcher meta before they were auto include. Now, not so much. Witchers, however, do see play in combo decks or decks that really want to find a gold card. Uh, in this deck, you you, you really want to find Shoop. Uh, and Unicorn and Chiron Extras are basically your three best cards in your deck. So having that early thin is nice. Uh, it also is extra tempo, and extra tempo is never a bad thing. So yeah, Witchers are in the deck. Arrakis Venom. So this is an interesting card. Um, I started playing this maybe a week ago. This card's pretty good, uh, especially because Witchers got nerfed and they're three strength now, and because, yeah, I'd say maybe 40% of decks run Witchers. Uh, if your opponent plays Witchers and you play Arrakis Venom, you just get an instant nine value. That's really good. Instant nine value for seven is good. Uh, every now and then you'll get to kill an engine. I've been able to kill Visigoda. Someone will play Visigoda and a unit with Avalok, and then they'll play like a three drop next to it, like Vess or whatever. I'll slam Vess and kill the Visigoda. Uh, Arrakis Venom allows you to kill things you wouldn't normally be able to kill. It's, it's most people don't see it coming. It's I like the card. I like the card. Um, it's only one of obviously because it's shoot, but uh, yeah. I would play this in an Ethne deck. I would play this in a... Eh. Problem with crack decks is you generally don't want to be killing units because of Wild Boar of the Sea. You're losing value on Wild Boar if you're killing units, so not great in Wild Boar. Unless, of course, you're not playing a Wild Boar of the Sea deck and you're just playing crack for, like, the mulligans or for procking your bloodthirst. So, yeah, keep that in mind if that is the kind of deck you're playing. Anyway, uh, Slave Infantry, good card, solid. Uh, Peter, same thing, solid card, very good against monsters. Uh, good against Unicorn, good against TA. Uh, the rest of the deck is pretty standard. Um, you'll notice a Bomb Heaver's in here. I've been queuing into some Sea Hill decks. People are playing Sea Hill, and it's frustrating. So there's a Bomb Heaver in there. Um, I've actually am here Bomb Heaver because they will play a Sea Hill in round three. I'll get rid of it, and then they'll Caretaker, so I'll have to decoy the Bomb Heaver with M here and play it again, um, which is good enough. Yeah, so this deck has two artifact removal, Bomb Heaver, um, M here, I guess, so it's technically three. Shoop can roll artifact removal on the knight option, so keep that in mind. Uh, if you do need that artifact removal, there is a 60% chance to get it on knight, uh, and the rest of these are pretty straightforward. Uh, feel free to change some bronzes around. Uh, yeah, so it plays like a normal Shoop deck. You want to try to win round one. Um, generally you don't bleed round two. Uh, if you don't play Witchers in round one, feel free to bleed round two. But this deck doesn't have really any engines. It has like two, I believe. Magni and Nausicaa. I wouldn't count Enforcers as an engine since you can only pocket ones. Um, but yeah, round three you're looking to clear the board with Shoop and just play value cards such as a Sire. So, uh, without any further ado, I want to bring you this Shoop game where... Shoop came in clutch. Hope you guys enjoy it, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Philo. Ah, nothing like a dwarf to get you out of a tight spot. Which card was buffed from 25 to 22? <laughs> uh, rest in peace, Siri Nova. We'll miss you. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping he'd turn one Swordmaster and TA's it. New viewer hate the music on this channel? Okay. I was hoping you'd say that. Yeah, it's pretty good for me. It's also pretty good on Peter, so we're not gonna slam it. I'm gonna play this immediately to play around BME. Normally I'd play this first, but it just dies to BME. We'll run it like this. He said Nova, it's not fair. I said Nova after some people answered Nova though, so it's fair. Blood and neck ends. Similian Vat. Your Feldy gifted a tier one sub to Zaktom. Zakatom. Thank you so much, Your Feldy, and welcome, Zakatom. Appreciate it. 
Get some poggers in chat. Zach Tom? Dude, okay, tell me how to say it. How do you say it, chat? You tell me, since I'm saying it incorrectly. And you're gonna bully me. How do you say it? Since apparently you guys all know the correct pronunciation. He doesn't know? Yeah, that's why I'm asking. <laughs> I strive above all to be just. I shall not fail. Ellen. We're losing a point by not pinging this, but it plays around. Nigh is the time. Uh, the call. So I think it's correct. I could be wrong, but. Pumpkin's never wrong. Okay. None of these are soldiers. So max value we're getting on this is three. We can keep waiting for Swordmaster though. A shame I have no time. You can pass if he wants. <laughs> You mad? Don't shake that. Okay. Sweet dreams are made of cheese. Yep, that's what I hear too. Yep. We're looking for shoop. Nice. Double nice. Um, we go long with this deck because I don't have any pushing potential. We're looking for Ass and Cairo. This would be good too. We'll take a Venom. Sweet dreams are made of Gascon. Whose flavor text reads you're in for a poundin? Dude, no one's gonna be able to answer that. Nice. You're in for a poundin? Who reads flavor text? Do we have any flavor text readers in chat? Flavor text readers. Nice. Nice. It's armor smith. But I was cheating. Wait. He just, he just can, he just said that he was cheating. <laughs> Alright. Thank you, Yerfeldy, for gifting a tier one sub to Crazy Dog. Crazy Drog. Did he look? He, he probably Googled it. May your sword oh, well, it's too late. It's too late. If he has another one, we'll slap with a Gimpy. Why didn't you play this first? I don't get it. Alright, let's see if he has 4 damage. I don't care if he kills this. I don't have any spies. Please do 2x weather, but why? 2x weather sucks. I can't play Shoop until I get my Arrakis value. 
because play around Peter. What? Swords I smile at, weapons laugh to scorn. Time for a beating. Okay. Blue Mountains. This is never getting that better value than this. your playlist uh yeah i own it it's just random songs i play one song and then youtube makes a playlist i play a similar song so it's nobody's playlist kiss bar in he is shooting a hand That's a lot of force to be ripping on. Shoot booster card? What? Is the sound distorted? Shit. I'm gonna refresh it and hope it fixes it. If it doesn't fix it... I don't know if it fixed it. Squarka? Yeah, but he doesn't play Squarka. Still distorted. So the problem is I'm running it through a virtual cable so that I can control different audio sources. So I know for a fact he has shoop in hand. I'm hoping, eh, I'm not gonna say what I'm hoping. We'll see in a second. The problem is he has three fours as well. But he can offset two of them. So I'm hoping he waits one more turn. Alright, so here's the plan. I'm gonna shoot and then I'm gonna put the card on the. You'll see. I'm gonna transform it into a random card so you can't shiru me. Alright, what'd you get? 
I got shit. My card's zero points. What'd you get? He needs six points to win. Because he still has six on Boover. So it goes to 39. I'll give you this. You did good, Phil. Watch him, like, roll Scorch or something. What'd you get, buddy? Shit. Well, one scenario where Shoop is good. <laughs> oh, this game. As of, like, one time Shoop into Transform is correct. It's pretty funny.